Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Simple Colors Popped and Juiced Gradient and I'm going to stamp with a Born Pretty stamping plate. I've got IMK Peel Ease as my base coat and I'm going to use this for color club called Just My Luck as my base color under my gradient and on my other nails because a couple of them I'm just going to paint. Just plain old colors. So here we go with our first coat of Just My Luck. And as always, these Color Club Hollows are just amazing. They just go on so good. Nice, easy, smooth formulas. There's that second coat. I'm going to top that with some of the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. Going to seal it in, dry it down, make sure it's dry all the way, and then I'm going to do a gradient. Hi, Woody. How you doing? Oh, got a cotton fuzz on my other thumb. Yes. Wouldn't be one of my videos without some cotton fuzz. So I've got a dampened sponge, and here is Sinful Colors Popped. Beautiful hot pink. And this gorgeous orange here is called Juiced. I knew these would look great together, so I couldn't wait. I'm going to be using the IMK Protect Peel around three of my nails that I'm going to be doing the gradient on. And on this nail and my pinky nail, I'm just going to use... The straight up polishes. I'm not going to do a gradient on these. I know. It's a little different for me. But I wanted to see these colors on their own a little bit. So I decided to do it this way. So there goes that first coat of juiced. And now our first coat of popped. Excellent formula on this collection. Every one of them I have tried has been amazing. And here we go with our second coat. I might could have gotten away with one, but you know, we don't play. Well, yeah, that's exactly what we're doing. We're playing. So we're gonna have to break Woody out again. I've got a clump up there driving me crazy. Scratch that off with Woody. And I'm gonna have to go in with my cleanup brush because I'm not happy with that. I do like to get a, you know, a smooth, ta-da, transition. And that one's a little bulky anyway because it's got a patch on it, along with my ring finger. I know it's ridiculous that they're this short and they've got patches on them. Crazy. So here we go with that second coat of Popped. These polishes are just so cool. I've got my dampened sponge and I am going to do like I normally do and I'm just going to start applying some polishes to it. We're going to do some rounds until, you know, until it looks opaque enough and I'm happy with it. So I have sped this video up. I'm not this quick, I can guarantee you, but if I didn't speed my videos up, you guys will be sitting here all day, I'm telling you. Some of these videos are like 30 minutes long when I sit down to edit them. It's crazy. So, and I figured this is kind of, you've seen me do this before. If you've watched my channel, you know, um, keep loading that sponge up and dab, 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 pat, pat, pat. I do move it side to side and up and down. Try to get that gradient to kind of blend together. And I just keep reloading that sponge with more polish. Do my tap tap dance on my nails. There we go. I'm going to keep doing it until the colors are close to what's on my pointer and pinky nail. I don't want them to look, you know, too different. I'm just going to keep on. I was excited to do this one. And I'm really excited to use that Born Pretty stamping plate got some full-size images and some layering images so I'm pretty excited all right well I'm still not happy with this so we're gonna keep on going I think we're getting close though getting very very close yep I am gonna tap these ends because on the very very tips it was a little more still see-through I'm gonna go ahead and remove this latex I'm using a little piece of tape to kind of grab it. It seems to work a little better for me than fighting with the tweezers. 
I'm just not good with the tweezers, so tape works for me. I'm going to get as much of it as I can with the tape, and then now I'm going to go in with my cleanup brush and my acetone. I do use pure acetone for my cleanup just to, you know, for it to be easier, but I have some of the acetone additive in it, and it keeps it from drying my skin out so much. I do have a little boo-boo over here on the side of this nail, so I'm going to scrape most of the polish off of the brush and just go in and do a little surgery right here. Just kind of make it blend in and not look so obvious that I messed it up. I'm going to top it with some of the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. This smooths it out, makes the gradient more seamless, and it makes it dry down faster so I can get to doing some more playing. There's a swatch photo of the gradient. I'll be using this Born Pretty Spring Garden L007, and here it is. It is so cool. I'm so excited about this one. This was sent for review, so I will have a link for it down below if you'd like to go check it out. I've got my Beauty Scraper and my Monocle Stamper, Funky Fingers Dark Knight, and Funky Fingers Gesso. And we're gonna get that blue film off of here. Gonna clean it up with some acetone and a paper towel. Then we're gonna get busy playing. So excited. So I'm gonna do some layering on the solid Tunit Solid Nails. I'm going to go in with the white first for that base stamp. And then I'm going to use the black for the outline of this rose. I just wanted to use some different images off of this plate. I was really, really excited to play with it. And I'm going to use this big image on the gradient nails. I know, I'm going to cover the gradient up, but it's all good. I can still see it. <laughs> I can still see the gradient underneath. I do clean off my stamper on a lint roller and I clean my stamping plate with pure acetone. And now we're going to double stamp over that with the black using the same image. Got to make sure I got it kind of lined up. I want it a little offset so a little bit of that white does peek out. We're going to do the same image on the other gradient nail. I've already done it on my thumb. So we're going to go ahead and do that ring finger. Love it, love it. And I did remember to put on my Birch Bees around my cuticles this time, so cleanup will be a little easier. Sometimes I remember, sometimes I forget. I just get so excited when I sit down to play. And now back to the single flower image. Um, I'm going to do that one on my pinky. I hope it fits. Yeah. Okay, there's a little bit missing in the center. And so I've got a little bit of polish still on the stamper. And I just tapped it right there. Tapped it on in. That's some more of that patching and repair job. And then now for the outline. Oh, got to get that excess off of there. Ah. I dropped my stamper, but all is good. Here we go. Plop, there it is. So there we have it. I'm gonna use another little piece of tape to get this excess paint off my nails. This lacquer, the polish, and then jump on in there with that cleanup brush again. Very happy that this was very easy to clean up. <laughs> I'm going to top it with the Born Pretty Smudge Free Top Coat. Without smudging it, I'm going to seal that design in. And then I'm going to go in with my Fast and Hard from Vibrant Vinyls and do my final top coat. There's my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.